Hey guys, what is going on? This is WrestleMania back with another episode. The news never stops and neither does WrestleMania. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest wrestling news stories and rumors you need to know, including Freak Accident wipes out Bobby Lashley, another reason Randy Orton is legendary, Omos health scare, Becky Lynch calls out Hall of Famer, Bray Wyatt pops the question to longtime love, and more. Freak Accident Wipes Out Bobby Lashley at Live Event Topping today's news is a scary situation that occurred during the WWE's UK tour. Members of the WWE Universe attending the 28th April Live Event in Newcastle, England got to see thrills, chills, and an unexpected spill as the ring ropes broke, leading to Bobby Lashley falling out of the ring and taking what looked like a nasty bump. According to a report from Wrestling News' Paul Davis, Lashley was in the ring with Drew McIntyre. Lashley slipped out of a power move, then hit the ropes, just as it looked like McIntyre was setting up for the Claymore. Instead, Lashley crashed to the outside because the top rope broke. The way Lashley fell, it looked like his body folded up. While the Scottish warrior was able to stabilize himself, fans were concerned about the Almighty. Thankfully, fans attending the show report Lashley didn't appear to be hurt. The two-time WWE champion posted a video of himself falling on Instagram with the message, UNSTOPPABLE. Thankfully, WWE appears to have dodged a tricky situation, as neither McIntyre nor Lashley was injured. The last thing WWE needs is for either star to miss out on the upcoming premium event, as McIntyre is booked to face undisputed champion Roman Reigns while Lashley will battle Omos in a rematch. Omos Talks Horrifying Health Scare Omos is the WWE's tallest performer, but like many big men in wrestling, he has to deal with severe threats to his health. In his case, not one, but two. The WWE's resident big man recently spoke with Ryan Satin, recalling his time in college when someone saw Omos playing basketball and told his coach that Omos looked to have a tumor on his face. Doctors ran tests, and the news was not good. So this is an MRI right here of your brain. Do you see that little speck right there? You have a brain tumor. We don't know whether it's benign or it's a cancerous tumor, and we're going to have to figure out how to deal with this. Omos told Satin, Literally a month after the MRI, I had the surgery and they had to go through my nose. It was very, very traumatic, but in the process of doing the testing, they found that not only do I have the pituitary tumor, I have partial Cushing's disease, which is very rare. Not only was Omas's condition rare, it was so rare that a medical journal was published covering the case. As Dave Meltzer commented on this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter, a number of wrestling's big names, including The Great Khali and The Big Show, have had similar tumors removed, and that while it causes great size growth, you aren't likely to live long if it's not removed. Tragically, Andre the Giant refused to have the surgery, fearing it would rob him of his big size, a move that many believe shortened Andre's life. Thankfully, Omas has dealt with the problem, and the 27-year-old seems to have a long career ahead of him. Sammy Guevara Hurt in Recent Ladder Match Sammy Guevara and Scorpio Sky's epic ladder match from the 27th April Dynamite saw the Spanish god take a sick bump, with the awkward landing leading to an equally awkward silence. Dave Meltzer described what happened. It was a few minutes into the match when he climbed to nearly the top of the ladder and came off with an attempt at a 630 body block, and the speed he came down was so fast that Sky couldn't break his fall and he landed on his neck and left shoulder. He said he was okay, but hurt his neck and his back. They were in split screen for the next several minutes. Diamond Dave discussed how AEW had to scramble to deal with the situation on live TV. Guevara was just laying there. Sky was stalling since he easily could have climbed the ladder in one, and then they'd be several minutes early and in a commercial break. So he basically played to the crowd and stalled, but it did get silly because it was clear he could win for at least a minute and climbed so slow to allow Guevara to have time to recover. Evidently, they didn't like this segment because on the West Coast feed, that side of the screen was black rather than showing what happened as it did air live in the rest of the country. What's particularly distressing about this is that apparently no one saw fit to check on Guevara. This isn't the first time someone has taken a sick bump that arguably should have been checked out by medical personnel. While the initial report is that Sammy is okay, WrestleMania will monitor the situation. Brock Lesnar Sighting Looks like Brock Lesnar isn't sulking after dropping the WWE Championship to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 38. A recent tweet from the Bearded Butchers shows Lesnar out in the woods butchering an animal. Here's what the Butchers had to say. 
We just received a call from Brock Lesnar, and he was excited to share what he was up to today, butchering a beef. We approve 100%. Great work, Brock. With talk of Lesnar appearing at the upcoming Money in the Bank and SummerSlam shows, opponents may want to think twice about stepping into the ring with the Beast after seeing his latest activities. What do you think of Brock's butchering? Let us know in the comments below. NXT told women to dress sexier NXT 2.0 has seen many changes to the product, including a focus on younger and bigger talent. Now, former WWE superstar Amber Moon is confirming another story that was making the rounds about NXT's new direction, that it wanted its women to look sexier. Dave Meltzer highlighted comments Moon recently made on a video about her WWE run. She said there was a meeting in NXT where they instructed their female roster to look more like Rose and to adjust their gear to be more sexy. She said she and the other women there weren't comfortable with that, but management said it's what they wanted. This doesn't come as a surprise as the WWE has focused on its women looking sexy in the ring, even as it's also focused on improving the quality of the in-ring work from the dreadful days of the Divas era. Ember also opened up to Chris Van Vliet about her time on NXT and the weird warning she received. I was seeing everything going on at AEW and I was like, that looks fun. That looks like what I thought I was going to do. For a while, we couldn't even talk about it backstage because they were like, you shouldn't be watching the competitor. I was like, how do you expect us to outshine them? It was different because I wasn't watching for film. I was watching because I was envious of what was happening there. The Wednesday night war between AEW Dynamite and NXT is still seen as one of wrestling's most lopsided ratings battles, as the former black and gold brand couldn't catch a break during the time Vince McMahon pitted it against AEW's new show, losing in the ratings to Dynamite on a weekly basis. Becky Lynch calls out Hall of Famer again. Looks like Becky Lynch is still trying to stir the pot when it comes to WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. During an appearance on Drew Garabo live featured cut of the day, Big Time Bex boasted, If Trish Stratus wants to go, I'm ready to go, but I think she should know that I destroyed her bestie, who I loved, who was my hero, who was my idol. I wasn't a Trish Stratus fan, so just imagine what I'll do to her. Well, it looks like Becky will have her hands full battling Asuka in the near future, a Becky vs. Trish match would be ideal for the WWE's upcoming Saudi Arabia show, given the Saudi Sports Authority's love for dream matches. Although Trish hasn't wrestled since 2019's SummerSlam bout with Charlotte Flair, Trish looks to be in fantastic shape and would likely be able to shake off any ring rust. Would you like to see Lynch and Stratus wrestle? Bray Wyatt pops the question. Congratulations to Wyndham Rotunda and Jozanne Offerman, aka former WWE superstar Bray Wyatt and ring announcer JoJo, on their recent engagement. The couple, who have been together for several years and have two children together, announced the happy news on Instagram. JoJo posted pictures of her engagement ring, along with the message, A million times yes, I love you Wyndham and I can't wait to marry you, even though it feels like we're already married. Here's to forever. Fans continue to speculate what's next for Rotunda ever since his non-compete clause with WWE expired. The former fiend is reportedly working on a horror project, but he has also expressed interest in returning to the ring. While AEW and the WWE are reportedly interested in signing him, his asking price is high. Now that he and JoJo have a wedding to plan, it could be some time until fans see him back in the ring. Congratulations to both Wyndham and JoJo on this awesome announcement. The two will become the latest of several real-life wrestling couples who have tied the knot. Now that Bray and JoJo are engaged to be married, who do you think will be wrestling's next couple? Let us know in the comments below. Another reason Randy Orton is legendary Last but not least, as Randy Orton celebrates 20 years in WWE, a recent report shows that he's legendary at more than just the grappling game, but also video games. During a recent chat with his Twitter followers, the legend killer revealed his level on the popular action role-playing video game Elden Ring. Orton tweeted, 527 lol. Orton's level is legendary and a sign he must put some serious time into the game. What do you think of Orton's achievement? Well guys, there you have it, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and we'll see you next time for some more wrestling content.